All right, Nuketown 2025. So excited. Finally redownloaded Black Ops 2. Got Black Ops 1. And I just played Transit. I still enjoy the map. It's just, it's not that easy on solo, especially with having to build all the stuff and carry it around one person. It's hard to do, but I uh, kind of suck. But Nuketown, it's a lot easier to play one person. And while it's a very small, kind of boring map after a while, it's fun to just jump in, play by yourself. I remember Nuketown 2025 or Nuketown Zombies. I, uh, I used to have some fun getting like around 30, 40 back in the day by myself. Perks fall in. Um, you obviously got quick revive, but the perks kind of just fall in wherever. And I don't think I want to get quick revive this game. I don't want it to be a very long match. Um, although if Jug doesn't come down, then I might just have to get quick revive. Because without Jug, Jug might not come down to around 30. Population 95, 94. I'm not sure, but I think when the counter hits zero, a new perk of the pack punch comes down. All right, let's go open up some barriers. We gotta go get the box. We need new weapons. We also have the training area back here. You could train on either side of the map behind each house, but I prefer this one most games. So now that I have these games redownloaded, I think, oh, Black Ops 2 is hard because, like, one, it takes two hits instead of three, and you go down. So, if they double hit you real fast, you're screwed. Black Ops 3 is so much easier, a lot more lenient. But, uh, now that I got all these games redownloaded, I'm, like, I'm working on favorite maps for Black Ops 3, but, uh, I'm gonna have to do, like, all time top five zombies or top ten, whatever. That's gonna take some time, because this top five on three is... It's been taking a lot of time. So I can't imagine trying to do it cross games. All right, come on. I just want to want to get enough points to get the box. I also don't know if it's in the house or is it behind the house? It's behind the house. And that works out perfectly because I think that's where I want to stay for the majority of the game. I mean, both backyards work, but the box right there, that's perfect. Oh, that works out. All right, let's go open up the back door and go see where the box is. I don't remember. Okay, it's the very back. Now, I don't remember if dogs are on this map. There's something that I don't remember that makes it... Uh, I forget. What boss is on this map? You can also open this door 3,000. Crazy. And all I would get is a double points. Which, I guess on the high round would be good, because you can easily build back the points if you have a big train. But at that point, you don't really need points. Oh! Man, you gotta be so much more careful. You gotta be on your toes on 1 and 2. I should say World at War 2. Pretty much any 1 before 3, it's only 2 hits. It's so much harder. Here we go, we got our first perk. You also don't have to turn on the power, which is nice. Whoa, that mannequin scared me. Off with your head. I feel like something happens if you uh, shoot all the mannequin heads. I don't remember what, something happens. Or maybe I'm just thinking of a different game. I mean, Nuketown appears in, what, four or five Call of Duties? In Double Tap, I don't remember if it's Black Ops 2 or 3 that started, because in the old games, all it does is increase your fire rate. It doesn't, it's not really worth it, but uh, you just go through ammo faster. But in 2 or 3, they started, it's double damage, which I don't really need right now. You get more points by shooting them. Uh, where are they at? I don't remember the spawns. That's what scares me. I don't want them to come from behind me. That wouldn't be good. Oh, buddy. So, I really am excited to play Mob of the Dead again. Buried, I used to love, too. You get the bank, you get the, the LMG right in the start room. Um, Buried was one of my favorite maps. Mob of the Dead's good. A lot of people don't like Black Ops 2 Zombies, but I've had a lot of fun playing it. Now, Black Ops 1 was still my favorite, but uh, 
Black Ops 2. I got a lot of good memories on 2. Oh, it changes? I thought it was always a double points. Does it change every round? I really wish some other perks would come down. I need some Juggernog, some Speed Cola, whatever else drops on this map. I need something else. Alright, for the hell of it, we're getting double tap. Got the catchy little tomb playing. I'm also going to sit right here. I feel like this will be the best spot for now. M27 in the Chicom. I remember loving this on a multiplayer. This was a fun gun. So yeah, I think on Black Ops 2, double tap is a... Oh! I think it's a double damage. I know Black Ops 1 and World at War for sure was just fire rate. Double points. Here we go. Let's build up some points. I really need Juggernaut to spawn in. That's what makes this map hard. Sometimes perks, you don't get like Jug or Speed, whatever, till like round 25. I don't know when the last perk comes in. It's like 25, 30. But I should be getting one soon. All right, this is where things are gonna start getting a little, a little scary. Oh, see, that's what I mean. I didn't know they spawned right next to me. Man. Well, here comes the nuke. Coming down. You don't see the explosion. 